And in other breaking news tonight, Governor Gary Herbert proposes a new rule that will effectively ban conversion therapy right here in Utah. Conversion therapy, of course, being the practice of changing a person's sexual orientation or gender through therapy. ABC 4's Jason Wynn breaking down the governor's directive from Salt Lake City here in studio. Hey, Jason. Good evening, Emily. Governor Gary Herbert directed Doppel and the Department of Commerce to file a new rule banning conversion therapy for all minors in Utah. Everyone that we talked to this evening when this news broke was elated. Governor Herbert kept his word on letting science prevail. What a phenomenal way to start the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. It's fair to say Equality Utah's executive director, Troy Williams, is over the moon in excitement after Governor Gary Herbert proposed a rule banning conversion therapy on minors. Last summer, Governor Herbert said that science should prevail over politics. And on the issue of conversion therapy, the science is clear. The, the actions of Governor Herbert and the Board of Psychologists will protect LGBTQ youth. The rule uses language from District 33's Representative Craig Hall's House Bill 399 to end conversion therapy on minors. The Utah Division of Occupational and Professional Licensing, or DOPL for short, will file the rule on December 15th. There will be a 30-day public comment. If there isn't any hiccups from now until then, the rule banning conversion therapy on minors could be effective as early as January 22nd. In a press release, the governor says the stories of youth who have endured these so-called therapies are heart-rending. And I'm grateful that we have found a way forward that will ban conversion therapy forever in our state. This decision tonight by Governor Herbert is going to save lives. Now, Representative Craig Hall, who introduced House Bill 399, says... It is, he's very happy about this rule and he's going to talk about this rule come tomorrow morning. And if it does go through, Utah will be the 19th state to ban this type of practice. Emily? All right, Jason, when reporting, thank you.